Hey, this is Julian the Professional Bum and this video uh, I'm going to be doing um, a tutorial on what to do when you got a, the low voltage error for your batteries. So this happens sometimes because um, maybe you've overused the batteries uh, or you didn't put them on storage charge or it's just a little below you know, storage or a little above and most of the case below and what happens to battery bloats and when you try to plug it in it says it doesn't charge it's a low voltage error so here's what you do um, this battery right here in the back is one that already is on low voltage um, and what I've done is that I actually plug it into NICAD uh, no it's a nickel metal hydride uh, that's a setting that I use you can use NICAD you can use nickel metal hydride it doesn't matter because it, it charges in a similar way and this is a 4 cell battery so what you want to do is that you want to raise it to the minimum voltage so we're almost there um, and uh, in fact right about now it should be able to charge um, properly okay but I've got another spare pack right here and so before you charge the pack the thing is what you want to do is that you actually want to refrigerate the cell because when you when you're when you're actually doing discharging especially or if you're charging a battery that's that's below the low voltage requirement uh, the batteries can explode and they can blow further right so to avoid that happening um, it's better to it's better to actually refrigerate it bring it up uh, and then and then uh, it's gonna keep the battery packs cool and sometimes you may even have to um, just do a check on the battery cells uh, if they're getting hot because it shouldn't happen uh, lipo packs actually get cold as they get charged so if it goes hot uh, something's wrong right so in those cases when it bloats up um, and then it's getting hot then you want to do a few rounds of refrigerating it and and honestly believe me you can actually return it to a regular performance I've done this many times in the past and uh, I've taught this to many friends and I've been able to help them save money and buy new packs so uh, that's what you want to do uh, we're almost we're almost there uh, the goal for this is I'm trying to bring it up to 12.8 and uh, once it's on 12.8 then uh, I'm actually going to switch over to, to, to the LiPos and continue charging it so it's almost there and uh, we're going to do that I'm going to show it to you just how to do it and is it okay we're, we're, we're just above 12.8 now and we're gonna, uh, when you get it up to a, a minimum voltage, remember because it hasn't been at where it's supposed to be, so uh, you need to actually check it, alright? So now I'm gonna pause this video. Okay, the reason why I pause it is because I wanted to check on the battery. I wanted to check that it's still feeling kind of cold, alright? If it's feeling kind of cold, you're all good to go. If it's, it's hot, it's bloated, then uh, it's not so good to go. Like right now, as you can see, it's a little bit bloated. It's not sitting very well. But now it's it's uh, more or less good. So I'm gonna put it back inside the bag, and then uh, we're gonna charge it up all the way. So I'm gonna pause one more time. Okay, so uh, we've just done that, and uh, I'm gonna tilt this up so you can see it. Okay. So we're up to 13 right now, and 13 is just about right. Uh, now watch closely. I'm gonna press stop on the charger. Uh, let me just focus this camera so you can see it. Okay, and then okay, it may go out of focus, but but just try and follow me with this. So we're gonna press like stop twice. Um, this lipo, and then uh, we're gonna go with a very low M. Uh, sorry, we're gonna go for like a, a lipo balance charge, and we're gonna go for a very low. 2 amps, okay. Uh, whoops. Balance. And check this 4S. Uh, I'm hoping that the cells are all intact because if they are, then it's gonna charge okay. Okay, so right now we may have one cell that's, that's problematic. Uh, no, actually, it's fine. Yeah. So as you can see, um, now we've pretty much just saved the battery, uh, but cell tree looks like a bit of a problem. 
We'll see how it balances out later on. If it catches up to a similar voltage as the rest, then we're all good, all right? So I hope this instructional video uh, has helped you out. Okay, look, uh, now it's balancing out really well. So we're basically just gonna balance it and uh, we're gonna bring up to the minimum voltage, which in this case, it's, um, it's uh, what do you call it? It's 3.8 uh, volts per cell. So we have the 3.8 volts per cell and then we're gonna stop the charging and it's just gonna store it that way. So I hope this video has helped you out. Uh, this is Drew in the ML Giant Killer, and um, I, I used to I used to maintain a site called HPI Savage X um, dot info, but uh, right now, so HPI Savage X forty six dot info, uh, I still have the site; it's still around. You can check it out if you want to. But uh, nowadays, I actually spend most of my time um, teaching people how to make money online. So RC is still my passion, uh, I, and I do I do hope to spend. Uh, more time uh, getting back into RC and possibly doing some competitive racing as well. But for now, um, you know, if you want to check out how I teach people to make money online, uh, subscribe to my list down below. It's mlmgiantkiller.com, and basically, uh, you get to in in the emails that you rec you're receiving from me, uh, you probably get to hear about the fifth uh, the method where I teach people how to add, how to add 50 to 200 bucks to their monthly income per day. So uh, check it out, and uh, well, happy Sunday. This is Sunday right here. Happy Sunday, guys.